Smug Mug is just for photographers, right? Nope. Smug Mug is your secret weapon to storing your photos, keeping them in their lovely folder structure and sharing them in an amazing website. Smug Mug is a great way to store your photos and you don't need to be a photographer to use it. And for the price, you get unlimited storage. But I'm not going to harp on about how amazing it is. You can check out all about it in this little video up here to find out the lowdown. And if you are still not sure what is the right cloud storage for you, well, check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. But if you have made the choice for Smug Mug, it can feel a little bit overwhelming to start with a new program. You want to get it right the first time and not end up with a total mess. So in this video, I'm going to get you set up on Smug Mug by walking you through the steps of how to load your photos. But most importantly, check out my essential settings to make your life easier and keep your photos hidden from prying eyes. Starting your account. To create your SmugMug account, go to smugmug.com and click to start your free trial. Now you just need to create your account. So put in whatever first name you want, whatever last name you want, your email and a password. And also, do you plan on selling photos? We are no, because we're all about just creating beautiful websites and archiving our photos. So click no and then start your free trial. The next page will ask you to select gallery. Now we are just going to select any of them. I tend to go for Sierra as it's my favorite. As in this video, we are all about loading our photos. If you want to know about how to set up the gallery to an amazing site, then check out my other video in the links in the description. So pick something that you like and then go to the next screen. Then just pick a random photo to get past this screen and click go to my site, which we are not going to stay with because we need to go and do some all important settings. Account settings. Now what you can do if you want, you can go to your profile and you can add a picture in. If you go to the little icon of a person in the top right hand corner and go to edit my profile, you can add a little picture of you just so that you know you are you. But that's not the most important thing. What we want to do is our account settings. So go to that little image of a person in the corner and go to account settings. And then we are going to go through the key settings. Obviously, there is way more settings in here if you want to go down that route. But these are the core ones that I would recommend you do. First, we have site URL. This is the web address, a username for your SmugMub website. So change it to whatever you want. Then we're going to go to notifications. The two areas here are comment alerts. This is where you could be notified if a new comment is put on one of your photos by email. I switch it off because I really don't want to see any comments and I'm going to switch them off anyway. Also, have a look at the failed password attempts. Be notified via email of repeated failed password attempts on your site. As we are super security conscious, we are going to turn that on. Now on to privacy. The first area is site access features. So you can choose to make your entire site accessible to anyone, only those with a password or specific people using the people I choose feature. Now here we are going to put anyone, but don't worry, we are going to protect this site in a different area. Then we have feeds. Let fans follow your site using feed readers. Turn this off. Now down to discovery. And in the search SEO settings, site visibility, we are going to change some of this. Google search visibility. Can Google, Bing, Yahoo crawl the website and index its public content? Turn this to no if the website is only for family or friends. So we are definitely going for no on this one. Then we've got Smug Mug search visibility. This decides if search is done at smugmug.com for users and for images can show your site content. So for us, we are going to be find me by name only. You could do it. Create me an island. I don't want anyone to be able to find me. But if you want family and friends to be able to find your site, finding you by name could be quite helpful. 
Then the other area is file name keywording, allowing SmugMug to automatically extract keywords from your descriptive files is really useful. So this area, file name keywording, we are going to turn on. And those are all the settings we are going to be focusing on in this area. Loading your photos. Now to the important part, we are going to load your photos. Head on over to the organize section at the top of the page near the admin bar. Now you probably get some blues, ticks of stuff that you can click through and just, we don't need to read those. Then select the top level of hierarchy from the left pane. Click create and folder. We are gonna call this all pictures and click create. Then from an upload point of view, we are going to upload folders because we've got some nicely sorted folders and this is why we're doing it. Find the photos that you want to upload and drag and drop all of the folders into the load screen and then see the beauty of your photos loading up. Some terminology. Now, the terminology in SmugMug is a little bit different than folders and files, so it's probably a good idea for me to explain what it means in SmugMug. In SmugMug, everything above the last folder is called a folder, so straightforward. But the last folder in your hierarchy is called a gallery. Simple, right? So if you compare it to the folder structure that would have been on your PC or Mac, it would have looked a little bit like this. But in SmugMug, it would now look like this. Also, be aware that you cannot exceed six levels and the last level, the gallery, can only contain images and video files. So keep that in mind before you load up. Folder settings. Our photos are now loaded into our folders and galleries, but if you remember in our account settings, we made it available for everyone to see. So we are gonna fix that now. Still in the organize area, select the all pictures folder and go to settings and select folder. Now in visibility, it's going to stay as public, but under access, we are gonna change it to people with a password. Then add your password in, it is case sensitive. And then you can also add a hint if you want. Then click save. This means that you can control who gets to see your photos on the site area using the URL that you've set for your site. So there you have it, all your photos loaded into their folders and galleries, which are password protected. Now your photos are loaded and sorted on your Smug Mug account. But if you go to the site, it will just be their default view, which is not very epic. So check out this next video on how to set up your amazing website to wow all your family and friends. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead with a like, a share and a subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.